okay. Uh, I, I figured I'd, I figured that I'd, uh, that I'd, that I'd do a video just kind of talking about two of my guitars in particular. Just one of which I've already got a a review of on YouTube and who knows where else. Um, so you've probably seen that one already. Um, that's, that would be this one. Um, last one I think I posted a year or two ago. I don't remember when it was I posted it. Um, but, this one, this one is a, uh, It's a copy of a 1936 Martin D28. It was made by a man in Moron, New York, named Dave Nichols. He makes very good guitars, very nice guitars. Um, if you haven't had the chance, I would suggest. Um, I would suggest a visit to, to his shop. He makes very good guitars. His shop is... Everybody there is very friendly. They do a lot of very nice in their work. They've done work for the likes of Johnny Cash and Merle Haggard. Uh, they do in their work for a lot of the big... A lot of the big guitar companies like, like Martin Guitars and and Gibson and so on and so forth but they do they do and they work and building for for just individual people also um they do amazing work so without any further ado I'm pretty much just gonna let, let the guitars speak for themselves this one's gonna be the first one. That's gonna be the Dave Nichols copy of 1936 Martin D28. It has Adirondack spruce top. It has Indian rosewood back and sides. I wasn't gonna go for the Brazilian rosewood even though that was a choice. It has um, it has herringbone trim. Grand Iroid binding. Uh, the neck is it's amazing. So so here's here's the uh, the guitar. So and keep in mind I'm not much of a I'm not much of a picker, so I apologize for that. So anyway here here's the uh, custom.
so that once again was the Dave Nichols custom based off of a 1936 Martin D28 sorry about that that probably sounded brutal if you heard that banging around and this pretty much everybody should be familiar with it's a uh, Gibson J45 standard and as you can see natural top Got nice mahogany back and sides. It has, uh, you know, I want to say Indian rosewood for the bridge and the uh, fretboard, but if that's Indian rosewood, that's the strangest looking Indian rosewood that I've ever seen. If I didn't know any better, I'd swear it was more along the lines of Madagascar rosewood. Um, so, if it is and the feds are watching, I apologize to Gibson, Montana. So, because chances are, if, if the feds are watching, chances are there's a slight possibility that that Gibson Montana will be raided so hopefully not uh, I will actually take take some pictures and include them in the uh, in the video we'll take some pictures of the uh, the bridge and the fretboard um, once again I'm just going to let the guitar do the talking after, after I shut my mouth so here it is
but while, while I'm at it, um, if any of you have seen any of my other videos, uh, I've, I've also promised that, that I was going to give a, uh, I also said that I was going to give a, a, uh, further explanation as to why I left the, uh, the Mormon church. Uh, and it's been quite a while since I said that. And I know there's probably a lot of people waiting. So, it's a little heads up on that one. Um, if you're wondering where that video is and where that explanation is and everything, I'm still working on it. I'm getting some of the scripture references ready. Um, I'm getting a lot of a lot of the other reasons and everything written down. Because I'm I'm gonna give quite a long, I, probably a series of videos why it is I left. Um, I can tell you right now one of one of the reasons that I left. I'll give you a heads up right now. That is that. Um, has a lot to do with if you read in Doctrine and Covenants for those who are LDS if you read in Doctrine and Covenants and then you read also in Revelation and probably a few other places in in the Bible too it talks about the uh, about the New Jerusalem what what it says in the Bible compared to DNC don't match at all as a matter of fact the uh, the description in the Bible claims that the the New Jerusalem is going to be give or take about half the size of the United States but yet from what I've read in DNC it's New Jerusalem is going to be in far west Missouri um, right now I don't, I don't have everything handy, so, so basically that's just off the top of my head. Um, I'll give further explanation at a later date. So, yeah, um, there you have it. So, um, I shall talk to you later. And just so you know. If there's any rude comments, I will delete them. So, yeah. Talk to you later.